Hello there, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video today. We're going to be working on my bar cart and that was a sneak peek of what is to come. Before we get started, I decided to just head inside and we're gonna just make a simple syrup. It's going to be a pear flavor. So we put one cup of water and one cup of white sugar. We're just going to dissolve the sugar down, bring it to a boil. And then I put in, um, it's about a third of a cup of pear, fresh pear that I had saved. Um, it has a skin on it, so we are gonna strain it at the end. Um, we're just going to put it into two glass um, containers and we're going to let it cool and we're going to use this in our bar. It's going to be amazing to just add into different types of cocktails. I had a mocktail. I just put about a tablespoon of the simple syrup with some salsa and that's what I'm going to be enjoying later on the patio. So we're just going to put all of this into the jars and then we're going to head back outside. So how's everyone doing? What's the weather like in your area? Um, we had three days of severe rain. I'm talking downpour rain to end off April and to bring in May. So I hope that all of the April showers will bring in amazing flowers for us in May. Um, we definitely didn't need it because the April month in general was a lot drier than it usually is. So we just sprayed it down with a little, I think it was Mrs. Meyer's um, basil scent. And then I'm just hosing it off and we're gonna wipe it down a little and then it's gonna air dry. Um, and then we're gonna get started decorating. But before we do that, we're going to head over and we're gonna pot up. I got some mint and I got some rosemary and I picked them up at the local grocery store the same as I did last year. I love getting uh, locally grown um, herbs and just adding them out here in little pots on my patio. So that's what we're gonna do next. So if you are enjoying the video, I hope that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I wanna encourage you to subscribe um, and leave a comment down below introducing yourself so that I can personally welcome you to the channel. So 
So my approach to setting up my bar cart is to just try to make it functional, but also make it pleasing to the eye. So I went in with a galvanized metal round uh, tray at the bottom because the top uh, shelf is galvanized. So I thought that would be a nice balance. And then I went in with my two copper uh, containers. One of them is a wine chiller and then the other one is an ice bucket. And then I wanted to add in a little whitewash. So I went in with a tray on the top and then I have a plaque and this really pretty bird cage um, that I love to decorate with. And I added that on the middle shelf. So as you can see, your eye is just gonna go zigzag with colors. So you have the galvanize and the galvanize at the bottom, the whitewash, whitewash, copper, copper. And then we're just going to add in different uh, other pops of color. Um, we're going to add in um, the mint and the rosemary to balance that off. And then we're also going to be adding in some functional. So we're going to add in some lime and some lemon that I put into these white bowls. Again, that is mimicking the whitewash of the tray above. And everything is just making your eye just, you know, zigzag and take advantage of all of the beautiful colors that are out here on the bar cart. And no one ever said that you cannot make sure that your bar cart that is functioning for a party is not aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I always follow that rule whenever I'm doing any type of project. Now I was debating between putting the rosemary on the right hand side, but I decided to keep it on the left hand side and just have it, you know, balancing off uh, the mint that's at the top. So I love to just load in all types of specialty drinks. So I went to my local grocery store and to Trader Joe's and loaded up on all different types of um, all the makings, um, whether it's sodas or, um, you know, just like little concoctions for um, cocktails. I also put my simple syrup that we made a little while ago and then I'm just loading up the bottom with all of my glassware. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if you set up like a designated bar area in your patio or deck or outdoor space. I find that by setting it up it makes it so easy for your guests to just you know go make themselves a little drink sometimes i even have like a specialty cocktail and i'll have like everything pre-made so that they could just go and pour out grab a glass ice and just enjoy themselves so if you're not doing it i definitely would consider doing it for your next gathering So let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you like to see more like this. So I just want to let everyone know we are going to have a quick project recap so that you can see all of the videos that we've done so far. We are a small channel. Uh, we just got monetized last week. We are growing. We have so many more subscribers than we had last week. So I just want to welcome anyone that's new and clicked on my video for the first time or if you recently subscribed. And also if you've been with me from the beginning, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all of the interaction and um, updates that I've been receiving from everyone. So make sure that you check out the project recap if you're new, it's gonna be at the end of the video. There's also gonna be a playlist so that you can catch up as well. So until the next time, have a blessed day.
Bye-bye.